What is up guys? So in the last video I taught you guys how to create folders, create files, delete the folders, delete the files, and edit the contents and preview the contents of that file. In this video I'm going to show you a couple more useful things with files and folders. For example, how to rename a file. So as you can see right now I'm in my desktop. I'm going to quickly just make a folder for this video. We're going to mkdir, um, just example. I'm going to navigate to that folder. And I'm going to create a file in here called abc.txt. Now let's say that, you know what, like I, I changed my mind. I don't want it to be called abc.txt anymore, and I want to rename it. How do I go about doing that? Well, for that, it, um, the command that you would want to use is going to be mv. mv stands for move, but it's also used for renaming files. And the way this works is I'm going to type in the original name of the file, which is abc.txt, and then I'm going to type in the new name that I want to give it. So let's say def.txt, right? And now if I press enter and I ls, we can see that def is now the new name of abc and abc no longer exists. And the mv command is not just used for renaming files, it's also used for moving one file from one folder to another. For example, right now, um, this file exists inside the example folder, right? Now let's say I don't want it to be in here. I want to move it out of this folder and back into like the desktop. The way I would go about doing that is I would do, I would type in mv space, the name of the file that I want to move, which is def.txt, and then the path of the folder that I want to move it to. And since I want to move it to the parent directory of the folder that I'm in because example is inside of the desktop and I want to move this file from example to desktop. I would just type in dot dot slash because dot dot just stands for parent directory or like the encapsulating directory. And so now if I press enter and I type in ls, you'll see that we no longer get any output. But if I go back to the parent directory into the desktop, type in ls, we can find for starters, our example file uh, folder, and we will also find the def.txt file that we just moved into the desktop. Another useful command that I want to go over in this video is kind of similar to move. It's going to be the copy command, which is going to be cp. And what this command does is it copies the contents of one file into another. So let's quickly edit um, the file that we created earlier and just add a couple of lines to it. So I'm going to pico. Um, def.txt. Let's add just, you know, like just some numbers. Control X, save it, get out of here. And now let's say I want to create a new file that has the same contents as the def.txt. The way I would do that is I would type in cp space the file that I want to get the content from, which is um, def.txt, and then space the new file that I want those changes to go to. And the cool thing about this command is that you don't have to already have that file in order to make changes to it. For example, right now I have no file called like ABC in here, right? So I could actually just create that file and give it the contents all in one line. I don't have to touch and create that file. CP automatically creates the file if it doesn't already find it for you. So now I'm just gonna type in yeah, like abc.txt, enter. And now if I ls, we'll see that we actually created abc.txt, which we didn't have earlier, because if we just scroll up a little bit, this is the last ls that doesn't exist there. And if I want to just see what's inside of there, so cat abc, I will see the same contents that we had inside of the def file. So that's how you can copy a file from one file to another and also create it during that process as well. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. That's the main stuff that I wanted to go over today. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. If you found it useful, leave a like. And if you're a little bit lost or you're, you want a little review on some of the other commands that I didn't really touch on, for example, um, CD, making a directory, uh, creating a file, all that type of stuff, you can check out other videos inside of my terminal playlist and get a clarification on that. Subscribe for more content, and yeah, peace.